British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams. Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Leyland. I'm here at the British Gas Women Championships 2011. The highlight of tonight's British Gas Swimming Championship programme, which includes four finals, without any doubt has got to be the women's 200 metre freestyle. Rebecca Adlington and Joanne Jackson will be trying to flag up revenge over Jasmine Carlin, who outpaced them to silver in the New Delhi Commonwealth Games. Throw in Caitlin McClatchy and you've got the 4x200 bronze medal winning team from the last World Championships. Also climbing onto the starting block will be the 1500m superstar from last night, golden girl Kerry Ann Payne, who rewrote the British record book for the distance. Three Commonwealth Games finalists are in the men's 200m butterfly medley race. This four-length Herculean tussle will be all about British record holder Michael Rock. Can anyone in the lineup challenge him? Two names who could cause an upset of former British champion Joe Roebuck and former European junior silver medalist Roberto Pavoni. Rock's qualification time was 2.48 seconds quicker than Roebuck and they were the only two sub two minute qualifiers. So to topple Rock, the defending champion, it's going to take something very special. The second longest distance for men, 800 metres, will also be sorted out tonight. Tom Allen claims lane four as fastest qualifier. The evening's variety of events swings from endurance to sprinting with the men's 50 metre breaststroke. This should be an absorbing clash with just half a second separating all eight finalists. Russell Smith has claimed the lane four channel and will be hoping it proves to be fruitfully golden delicious. Two multi-classification races, 100 metres freestyle for men and women are taking place and the significance of these contests is not just aiming for fast times but also trying to secure places on the relay for the Europeans this summer in Berlin. Four semi-finals are also included in tonight's package. In the men's 200 metre medley, gold and silver medal winners in New Delhi, James Goddard and Joe Roebuck will be in action. 100 metre butterfly winner Ellen Gandhi will be out to achieve the double at these championships when she tackles the four length race semi. And Adam Brown, the defending 100 metre freestyle champion, will be out to show his challengers he's not here to surrender his crown. And Roberts in lane one is the world record holder for the S7 category. And Wellborn in lane four, going well of the S10 category. He is the European record holder. Wellborn turned first on 27.06. And at the moment, Wellborn, like a runaway train here, enters the concluding 15 metres. So it's Wellborn leading and one lane up in five. It's David Ellis of the S13 category chasing him down. But Wellborn will touch first. Now then, will his time be good enough to give him the victory? We wait for the arrival of the rest of the competitors here and the winner of the event there is David Roberts, the world record holder. Great result there. Are you happy with your time? Because you've now qualified for Berlin. Uh, not with the time, with the performance, yes. I think uh, you have to win this kind of race, so it's just important to go in and win. Now, let's not forget, in multi-classification swimming, it is, of course, the swimmer who gets as nearest to their world mark in their category that will amass enough points to be the victor. Well, Watkin is the British record holder, and she is making a real fist of this in the middle of the pool. The rest of the moment just trying to cling to her coattails, but it is uh, Henry in four, looking very good from the S13 category. Well over two body lengths uh, clear of her nearest challengers. Lane three also going well, Stephanie Millwood from the S9 and walking in five of the S9, but it's Henry that'll take it. Henry takes that on the touch and her finishing time, 61.85. Ellie, congratulations. It's the second event this week. Yeah, I'm really happy. Like, another gold medal from a 400 free, so I'm really happy. And most importantly, a second qualification there to Berlin. Yeah, I'm really happy that I qualified. Now, I'm, all I'm looking forward to is, like, European, so it's good to be on the road now. Lifetime best, 48.76, qualified quickest. And Tancock at the moment... Uh, just struggling to maintain the head of the race on the turn. Tancock second being pipped to the turn on 50 by Craig Gibbons of Maxwell. So it's Gibbons of Maxwell just shading the advantage there. It was close. 24-38 for Tancock. 24-16 for Gibbons. Here they come. Now then, Tancock 
reasserting his authority here in the middle of the pool in four. The world record holder for the 50 metres backstroke looking to touch home first here. Going to be tied. Tancock coming up to the touch. He takes it on 50.06. Midway point, here's the turn. Burnett looking good on 23.98. At the moment, holding off the challenge of Adam Brown. Brown now starting to come back at Burnett. Ding dong finishes, this is gonna be. Lane five also going strongly, that's Grant Turner. And it's these three in the middle of the pool that are tapping it out and looking for the top spot. Lane four, reasserts himself. Adam Brown, fastest qualifier through. Brown's going to take it. Brown does take it on 49.72. Quickest qualifier through to tomorrow's final. Good swimming there by Brown. And it is Davis there in that red suit at the moment, holding off the challenge of the rest. Looking good in two is Victoria Racing as well as they come into the concluding five. And it's Lauren Quigley going strongly from City of Manchester Aquatics. And the result shown... Davis takes it 28.77. And in second place, Lauren Quigley, City of Manchester Aquatics on 29.34. And 0.4 slower than Quigley is Jessica Fullerlove, also from City of Manchester Aquatics. Pretty close call here. Most of the swimmers in touch as they come up to the 15 metre marker. Very close indeed between lanes four and five. Saunders in four and Leafley in five. On the touch. Who's going to get it? It's 28.89, the winning time to Saunders of the City of Manchester Aquatics. And that's a lifetime best for Saunders. And that's uh, just one. In fact, it's good enough to put it in second spot for the final tomorrow. So concluding 50 here. Rock looking very, very good. Roebuck still out to try and challenge him. And in, if anything, Roebuck's finding some strength here up to the 25-metre mark. Now then, the defending champion... Rock is being put to the sword here as Roebuck of Loughborough University tries to close down on him. I think they're going to run out of distance. It's a great effort here by Roebuck, but Rock's done the good work in the earlier stages and he's going to take it. Here he comes. Rock defends his title in a finishing time of 1.56.31. It's a great swim. You've now qualified for Shanghai. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm still out, still out of breath. Uh, that was... I thought that was a great performance, you know. Um, that was the aim, just to come here, uh, try and deal with the pressure, make sure I qualify for Shanghai and uh, produce a performance like that, so very proud. And Rebecca Adlington just lurking in the wings here, lying third, waiting then to drop her foot on the pedal in the concluding 50. That's her trademark finish as they go now through the 15 meter marker and the wall beckons in the turn for the final 50. Now then, Carling, remember who upstaged Jackson and Adlington in New Delhi, is in the shake-up as well here. She turns second, but Jackson leads as they come up now to the 15 meter marker. Look out for Adlington's trademark finish. 25 metres to go. What a grandstand finish this is. Adlington now starting to come through. And also Anna Miley in lane two, but it's going to be Adlington. And also in lane five, Carlin. Carlin and Adlington, stroke for stroke on the touch. What a finish. Rebecca Adlington takes it in 158.90 to nail gold medal number two of this British Gas Swimming Championships. Hey, Becky, great race. You must be really pleased with that. Yeah, really pleased. It was such a tough race. I knew it was me going into it, and everyone wants to be part of that 4 by 2 and the girls are amazing. And I just want to thank the crowd so much. Like, they've been absolutely brilliant this week, like cheering us all on. Honestly, it makes such a difference when you're racing to have the atmosphere. And I just can't wait for London because it's going to be like that for us. And you came back really strong in that last 50 metres. Was that your plan all along? I've got no speed. <laughs> it's not my plan. I just have no speed in general. So it's the only way I can swim a 200. It's the only way I know how to swim a 200. Going to be a lifetime best, I think, for Alan. Sunter still in the silver medal position. Third, it's Daniel Cocking now in lane one from the city of Sheffield. He's come through into third. And John Gallican, City of Liverpool, fourth. So the two swimmers in the outside lanes who are providing the bookends of this contest are also dueling it out here for the bronze medal. Now then, here comes the leader, Tom Allen. Now then, if he can get inside eight minutes... 
He'll be only the fourth British swimmer to ever achieve that. So come on, Tom Allen. This is good. Final five. Is he going to do it? Going to be very, very close. No. Just slipped away from him. That's still the fourth, isn't it? That's the fifth best time by a British swimmer over 800 metres. Second for the silver medal is Sunter coming in on 8.09. I thought the time could have been a bit faster, but I'm delighted with the outcome. I think the wheels came off about 500 metres. And then I just tried to put everything in. Low now starting to apply the pressure. Remember, it's all about time. Those eight quickest times will line up for the medal rush tomorrow. So Gemma Lowe just beginning to reinforce her stranglehold on the head of the contest here. 134.74, two seconds now ahead of her nearest challenger, and that's Dickons. 15 to go. And lane three starting to show here, Smithhurst in the closing stages, but it will be Dickons that touches first. Oh, low first, I should say, my apologies. 208.82 then for low to win the first semi-final. 50 to go then for Gandhi. 208.82 by Gemma Low is the time to beat if she wants to be the quickest. And I can tell you that time by Gemma Low is inside the qualification time for the World Championships. But I understand it's got to be done in the final. Gandhi now looking to the wall. Second place at the moment is Tilly Gray, lane six. Tilly Gray's come through here well. But it's all about Gandhi. Let's have a look at the time. Gandhi finishes in 207.76. Ken Wood maintain his lead for the final 53. The answer to that is yes. He's had a good breaststroke 50 there. Wood of Loughborough University turns first. 133.44. Now then, Dan Wallace of Warren de Bass is his nearest challenger. And the stronger freestylers are now beginning to reflect their skills here as they uh, all come back together almost. So the fragmentation that we got at the end of the backstroke has now been erased. And look at this, you've got six swimmers in a line all want the victory. And it looks like Yian Lloyd in four, the Welsh record holder, will take it. Lloyd does take it on 203.17. But lane three is looking good as well. Mohammed of the city of Cardiff Swimming very strongly here in the breaststroke discipline. Fastest time posted in semi-final number one, 203.17 by Yian Lloyd. Now then, let's have a look uh, at the time Goddard is going to stop the clock at. Perfect little echelon forming away from the left shoulder of Goddard. It's Goddard in uh, five, Roebuck in four, Mohammed in three. Roebuck closing down on Goddard, who is clearly his back. He's just cruising up to the wall. Not bothered about winning, but he does win. Let's have a look at his time. Goddard's time, 201.20. Clearly the fastest qualifier. And second, Roebuck, 201.47, will be the second fastest qualifier. The concluding medal race of the night here in the British Gas Swimming Championships. One length of the pool to decide the issue here. And it's a good start by lane two, Tom Rook, City of Coventry. Rook looking good over there in two, but also Russell Smith in lane four. Six swimmers in the shake-up for the medals here as they're through the concluding 15-metre marker. Approaching the red, final five. It's tight. Who's going to get this on the touch? Looks like lane six to me. Doug Scott might take it. He does. Douglas Scott of East Kilbride nails the gold medal here in the 50 metre breaststroke. Scott's time 28.74. Silver medal going to Russell Smith, Stockport Metro 28.81. And the bronze going to Craig Elliott of Cockermouth. British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams.